You're not special. You could lose everything. Why now? Most of the things that you see are very happy because that is what we are most of the time. There is the side we don't generally show where we are dealing with these doubts. Rather than hold it in and bottle it up and sweep it under the rug, we decided that this is as much part of the journey and so it was probably important to include this in our journey as well. We've always been why noters and what we mean by that is there was never reasons in the past of, of us not doing something. If we wanted to do something, we would figure out a way to do that. And right. something happened along the way when we had kids that it stopped being why not and started being more why. Why would we do that? We would start listening to our, our subconscious of telling us all of the mistakes that could happen, all of the things that could go wrong, and we found ourselves just playing life safe. You hear it your whole life, but it's almost like that saying has an expiration date. And if yeah. you haven't done it by this time, it's over. It's over. That's just not true. And we're going to prove that expiration date theory wrong. People who know us would think that we're the furthest thing from being a family traveling the country in an RV because we don't know anything about no. cars or anything with mechanics or anything with sewage or plumbing nature. or nature. Like we don't hike, we don't camp. We want to show other families out there that are like us that are sitting there on the couch watching other families travel the country and rock climb and, and do all sorts of crazy things, things that they can do it. If we're doing it, you can do it too. And it's not to say anything negative about us, but it's never something that we ever imagined we'd be able to do. But we're proving to ourselves that this is something yeah. anyone can do. We're putting our feet on the ground and we're running towards our dream. We would see other families in RVs and traveling the country and, and passing us on the freeway. And it was always something that we thought to ourselves, we can't do that. We don't know anything about RVs. Right. We don't know <laughs> hardly anything about cars <laughs> either. So Even less. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there was always that huge hurdle that we had to, at least in our minds, get past. Finally, it came to the conclusion that we don't have to have all the answers. We can figure it out along the way. And when mistakes happen, at least we'll learn from those mistakes and get better for it. It's yeah. hard to let go of your things and everything that we've worked for and mm -hmm. grown and built together in the last eight, almost nine years between all the years we've been together, yeah. married almost eight. If we realize this isn't for us, this isn't our lifestyle, we have to completely start all over again. Like yeah. we have nothing. We're both feet in. We're we're selling everything. We're we're starting this fresh with no yeah. possessions. Cars at all. gone, house gone, belongings gone. We just kept laying out all of the reasons we couldn't do it, and then we said, just stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Do we want to do this? Great. So there it is. Um, there is no expiration date. There is no box. There is no one plan, one path for everyone. And we are excited to be on this journey. Um, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot to take on, but we are chasing after this dream, after this goal, and we are going to grab onto it and write it for the next year. And in a year, hopefully we get to look back at this footage and just laugh about how much anxiety we had and how it all worked out and we had the most wonderful time and um, how happy we are that we took the leap and how much better we are for it.